Well, the holidays are upon us, and that means it's time to cook. So I've got the top 10 kitchen gifts on today's Geek Beat. Let's do this. Episode 534 of Geek Beat is brought to you by Shutterstock.com. So you guys know I'm an actual bladesmith, right? So it shouldn't be any surprise that in the kitchen, the most valuable tool, in my opinion, is a good knife. So let's get those recommendations out of the way first. I absolutely believe that you're far, far better off having just one exceptional knife than a whole block full of cheap ones. And if I could only recommend one reasonable price blade, it would be this one. The Shun 9.5 inch slicer. It's a magnificent knife. It has a full tang blade, meaning the steel goes all the way through the handle, and it has a stunning hammered Damascus finish that's as functional as it is beautiful. And at the core of this blade, it's made of VG10 steel, which is an extremely hard, high-tech Japanese steel. It's gonna stay really sharp for a long time. And at under 200 bucks, this is the finest single gift you can give the chef in your life. Okay, speaking of sharp knives, you need to get rid of that bamboo cutting board and anything else hard that you're subjecting your knives to. What you want is a set of flexible cutting boards like the Dexas Grip Mats. For 20 bucks, your knives will stay much sharper longer and they're easier to clean up and perfect for chopping and dishing things up into a pan. Of course, every good knife or even a cheap one deserves to be sharpened once in a while. And at $300, this sharpening system I'm gonna show you is definitely not cheap, but it'll create the sharpest blades you can imagine. And it should last for generations. It's made by Hinkles and it's designed by the famous master bladesmith, Bob Kramer. A little practice and patience and with this kit, your knives will be literally shaving sharp. Oh, and by the way, here's a $1 Walmart knife I sharpened. You can still get it shaving sharp with this kit. The problem is, it takes about 20 minutes to do it, and it's gonna dull the first time you use it, which is why you wanna invest in a decent blade. If your family loves pizza as much as I do, you need one of these rock and roll pizza cutters. It's six bucks, okay? It's dishwasher safe, kid safe, and it really works. I've had mine for like 10 years, and it's still going strong. Oh, and you know, we all need something to protect our countertops from the heat, so give that special someone a bunch of these little tumble trivets. They're basically these little silicon jacks you toss on the counter before you put down something hot. They're about a buck or two each, and they'd make a great stocking stuffer for anybody on your list. You know, I love cooking so much, I wouldn't mind having my own cooking blog. The big problem isn't really sharing my favorite recipes, it's finding the time to actually make the food so I can take photos of it and create the articles. But Shutterstock has actually solved that problem for me. For example, let's say I wanted to share the recipe for my favorite smoothie. It's strawberry banana, by the way. Okay, so I need some photos of strawberries and bananas, of course. And how about strawberries and bananas in a blender? Amazingly, Shutterstock.com has all of those and all you have to do is a quick search on their site or with their iPad app. You can sign up for large image packs, monthly subscriptions, or just grab a single image whenever you need it. You can also curate your own galleries to make searching easier and download any image, any size for one price they don't nickel and dime you for the high res stuff. So head on over to Shutterstock.com or install their iPad app to get started. No credit card needed. And use coupon code GEEKBEAT11 to get 30% off any package. Okay, let's finish up the kitchen gift recommendations. We're working our way up to my favorite item of the year, but bear with me as we get to it because I want to show you a few of the little tools along the way. All right. So we're using our Shun knife and a cutting mat to slice these lemons. That's because the lemons are part of a marinade, but in order to get all the juice, we're gonna use a press. 
Now, I got this old school juice press here, and I've had it for literally like 20 years. It's crappy, and it requires a ton of force to squeeze the lemons, okay? But hey, I'm emotionally attached to it, so what can I say? You, however, should invest in an Olympus commercial juice press. That bad boy would turn an orchard into an ocean in like 10 minutes. It's great for making juice to drink or just for marinades like this one. Now I'm combining my fresh lemon juice with some Newman's balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Also some oregano and some fresh ground salt and pepper from my Magnum salt and pepper mills. These mills are about 35 bucks a piece, but they are absolutely exquisite. And they grind things really fresh and tasty. It's always better than the stuff that you buy out of a box, okay? So get these for your chef. They're only about 35 bucks each. All right, once we've got all that together, we've got to combine it, and nothing is better for that purpose than a ball whisk. These things are cheap, but kind of hard to find. You cannot pick one up at Walmart or Target but you can get them on Amazon for about 20 bucks. They work so much better than a wire whisk and they're easier to use, easier to clean. They generally just, you won't believe how much better they are. So get one for your special chef. Okay, we went through all of that effort in making the marinade so we could use this, my absolute favorite kitchen item of the year, the sous vide supreme water oven. If you didn't see the whole episode that I did on the sous vide, you can check it out at geekbeat.tv forward slash 499. Funny, it was episode 499 and the oven costs 499 bucks, making it the most expensive item on the list, but I love it even more than the knife. And that should tell you something. Finally, when you watch the sous vide episode, you're gonna see that I cook the food in the water oven and then finish it outside on the grill. However, there is another option. Stay inside and do it on an electric grill. I've got this little Cuisinart grill, which is all right, but what I prefer is the Breville Panini Duo, and it's only 69 bucks, folks. So just do it, make that special someone really happy. Mmm. It is time for lunch around here, folks. Oh, look at that. All right, you guys can head on over to geekbeat.tv forward slash gifts for the direct links to all of these items and let me know on Twitter or Google Plus if you get something off the list and how it turns out. Oh, and if you enjoyed this gift guide, how about a thumbs up on YouTube, maybe even a subscribe, or how about a share on your favorite social media site? All right, guys, I'm John P. More holiday gift guides coming up soon.